But then since you're already doing a rain dance charge for that, then I will just keep the original map for that. Okay, cool. Misha, would you like to commit murder? Uh -huh. I would. I'm. I'm. How much? Within, I'm within range. Oh, yeah. Bouncy I'm bubble. Three coil. Did Austin and I just take? Oh yeah. Um, oh. How much damage did I do? Ninety damage. Okay. That's not the worst Nine... thing in the world. It's not Wait, ideal. Ninety recoil. No. no 90 that's damage how much damage I, I did. Mm -hmm. Right. Cool. I've only taken one injury actually. I'll use bouncy bubble because I. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking. Alright, I'll use Donkey Bell and that will act, whatever. Although, yeah, I wouldn't use a rain charge here. You yeah, I'm not gonna use a rain charge. Okay, cool. Please hit, you hit, yay. Woo! Oh no! Oh god, oh god, can I avoid this? Can oh no. No, don't, don't take out my Mega Aerodactyl immediately. <laughs> Oh my god. Hold this on. was the biggest one. Take yes, one. take yes. down the Mega very quickly. That was some little prehistoric birds. And a little T Rex. This. <laughs> so 34 damage multiplied by 1.5. 1. Wait. One no, sec. like, I don't have the. I don't have Well, it's not stab, but it is super effective. So, oh. so that's fifty-one damage. Does the Aerodactyl live? Hold on, I'm I'm trying to. Can I do this? Oh my god! All right. Are you trying to do a thing to keep that thing alive? If possible. Well, in terms of wide guard, because of how you've been ruling it, there's no one within range to use wide guard. Um. Uh, hold on. Um, one sec. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Um... You just let this happen. Uh, hold up, wait. Uh, do I... Can I even... Oh my god. Oh god, I'm. I think I'm screwed. Okay. <laughs> wow. What a. Pl okay. Um. Huh. You guys are gonna be a little upset, but. I forgot he had this. <laughs> uh, you're not okay, going so you to sweep. From this. Yes, he's going to protect from the bouncy bubble. You. Okay. Oh my god. I'm so glad I remember that. <laughs> oh, I'm not letting you guys just uh, TKO this guy. Oh my god. What? Not after okay. I build up the sp suspense with this. Alright. Anyways. Well, now it's Ian's turn. Mm hmm. And let's what see. What is Ian doing? What is he doing? Wonderful question. Let's see. Seven, eight, seven. Well, actually, wait, no, I'm doing this. Uh, oh, no, there's a. Okay, yeah, seven, eight. Da da da! Da 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 da! da, da. Alright. Uh, oh wait, no, no, no that's yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Is 
In that case, um... Alright, Ian's going to scuttle uh, this away. And bring his whole little entourage. And then... Is gonna yeet a rock at Asunado. Does a six hit? I'm gonna use I'm gonna use friend guard on that. So Asunado is going to resist this damage. Okay. So Asunado, you take 22 physical damage. Did you get that? Jack, you there? All right, my oh. mic is my mic is being weird tonight. Um, yes, that is uh, sorry, seven damage after defense applied. Mm -hmm. Tragically, literally, if it were two hit points less, uh, it would have been not an injury. Tragic. I, d I did all I could for that. You know, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's Hammond. It's Hammond. It's Will Star Hammond Tom. move? All right, let's Please. find out. Please no. Yes. Dang oh, it. thank God. All right. A tragedy. Okay, let's see what to do. I swear, if he uses roost right now, I'm gonna be pissed. Jacob, what if we don't suggest things like this? Don't think things into it. <laughs> You're not gonna believe Wait, this, adding... but guess which move I had prepared. <laughs> yeah. Jacob. Yeah. Jacob, you have jinxed us into existence. Yeah. See, Layla says, "Look what I had prepared." But earlier, as uh, Layla was trying to come up with an answer, uh, Layla was adding Roost to the move set. No, like I actually. That's my had... theory. That's my conspiracy. Theory. No, I actually did have Roost. Um, at a Cringe. <laughs> it was protect that I forgot that I had. I just I, and I knew now I had I'm no longer reason. super effective against it. Um, cool. Wait. Oh, until the start of their next turn. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, Misha's still super effective and can use a range charge. All right. I can't use bouncy ball anymore. It's every other turn. Oh. That sucks. Use full that into it. Wait. That doesn't make sense. How are you ever gonna get a stat boost from it then? From what? How are you ever going to get a stat boost from Bouncy Ball? She oh no no, she can only use it every other turn. Which means yeah. not next turn, but later, yes. But she's gonna transform because of her other moves. If she um, chooses to see. use them, as long as she doesn't use any other damaging move, she will stay as a Vaporeon. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, quote-unquote, I'm saying, like, hypothetically, Okay. No, All if right. I... No, no, no. If I use Helping Hand next time, I'll still be able to... Which means practically healed. Let's assume 100. So just got, like, 50 back. Which means, is that 60? So that would actually damage me to pain skin. So instead... Let's just go for a, um, this is gonna get resisted, but I might as well try. Uh, let's go for a Poison Sting. Alright. I'm gonna get a little closer here. Wait, yeah. what are we think? before we click it, what are we thinking? Um, it's gonna do zero damage. It's gonna do one damage, but it could poison. Minus the defense, so... No. Mm. All, dam all yeah, damage yeah, yeah. does at least one. Gotcha. Okay. But um, what I'm going for is not damage here. What, what I'm is going the for is what is the range of poison sting? Is my question. It's six. Okay. Can you try hit the tyrant instead? Okay, because we're trying to immediately deal with the aerodactyl if the tyrant's passively taking damage while we're doing that. would be so cool. Yes, I can go after the tyrant. I will make. A poison sting attack against the Tyro. 
All does right. that miss? Um, hold on. Actually, does that? Yeah. It. Wait, actually, no, no, no. Never mind. No, sorry. Meets it, beats it. It does. Okay, that's 18 poison damage. Uh, yeah. It only takes one damage. Reason. Only takes one? Yep. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Alright, speaking of, it All is right. Alan's turn. Let's see. Okay, perfect. One, two, uh, wait, no, it was... Okay, good, it was back here. Alright, so one, two, three, four. Al Alan notices that his, uh, his uh, uh, buddy Hammond is a little uh, worse for wear. And is going to uh, pull out a, um, uh, what was... Um, where is, uh, he's going to pull out a, a gold gummy and throw it at Hammond, who proceeds to eat it and is now no longer paralyzed. Range. Hmm? And will be next. Yippee. All right, it's however, okay. that is- I now get super effective again. Yeah. But uh, it is not. Uh, but that uh, was his full turn. So now, Ammon feels much better. He like stretches out his wings and then like slowly like takes himself up in the air, and then is going to uh, soar up and then fly all the way down um, and proceeds to uh, uh, sort of cur uh, carve in the air around you guys, and then. Uh, is going to fly, uh, land right on top of you, Asinato, and, well, not land, basically just, like, fly right over towards you, and use bite. Oh. Okay. Um. And it flinched! <laughs> A tragedy. Ooh. Unfortunate. Yeah. Okay, no super effective damage, I guess. Um, for me at least. All right. Uh, oh. did you uh, thirty-five right. physical damage? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. There we go. All right. Uh, did you get that calculated? I did, and okay. I entered it too. You just can't see it because the giant aerodactyl in my face. Oh yeah, yeah, I see it now. Yeah. All right, Misha, it's your turn. You just saw Hammond just like, and then just take off, and then you uh before you're able, your eyes are able to follow where uh the aerodactyl went. You just hear Asinata screaming and uh screaming uh as he gets bit. Ouchie, ouch, as Ricky from Xenoblade would say. <laughs> oh my. If there were a time to use a Waterium Z rain boosted uh, Hydro Vortex, I think it would be this one. You guys. Uh, you... What? Your, you your, your Discord has been yeah. cutting in and out the whole session, last scene. Uh, that's fun. Yeah, fun. I think now would be the time to use it because now this cringe uh, dinosaur is. Um, no longer paralyzed and should have died, but didn't. So I think we just kill Maybe it. Protect. Oh, I think the reason why I forgot I had protect is because I originally had wide guard on this guy, and then mm -hmm. I swapped it with uh, protect. But I forgot that I did. Oh, okay. Oh, is the music done? Uh, okay, just, let me I'm just gonna that. plop this into into the main chat for you guys to bear witness to. No oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, okay. This is Discord um, stuff for our audience wondering what we're talking about. <laughs> so, do you want me to actually use it now? Yeah. Yeah. will be rain boosted, and it also. Yep. Let's do it. All right. Um. What are you using? What are you using? Z I move. don't force it. My, my Z move. But I thought the bouncy bubble was a C in every other turn move. This is a Z move. It still follows the same That's... frequency. Yeah. 
Jacob, I knew that and I wasn't going to say anything and we were going to get away with it and I was going to laugh. And now our dreams have been ruined and there will be another turn of Aerodactyl hitting us. I don't care. We're going by the rules. If you can skirt the rules, I... you skirt the rules. That's how you uh, <laughs> have a more fun life. Listen, listen. If I forget something and I muck things Just up, Just like there is I no will... law, their order for the DM. There is no law, their order for the players as much <laughs> There's as no we law. Are able There's to no justice. The no the law. DM no order. Oh my god. Um, There's no here. law, no order for the DM. If I forget no law, something, no for if I forget something, and you guys exploit that, then that's on me. However, on exactly, the other J side, on the other end, Jacob, I genuinely do appreciate if you keep things in mind, whether it's stuff that I forgot that is to your benefit or mine, mine own. Ah. All right, so bounce the bellows every other turn, so I can't mm -hmm. use this turn. Or uh, those. And you can't helping hands. I know you could like. I mean, technically I, you like, could. Eat. Because you haven't even done your turn yet, but who's that going to help? You could Chef. hit me. Oh, no. No, no, what we're going to do... What if you, like, yeet an apple at my face? Yeah, because yeah, oh. you lost an auto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and you're lucky I have one apple. Woo! Oh, yeah. apple. I will say, just so you don't have to do it, any, especially with uh, Hammond literally right there, um, just walk up to him, and then you can just give it to him. Instead of having to worry about, right. oh, you're throwing it, make an acrobatics check. Is Hammond going to try to <laughs> steal it? <laughs> oh, that would be so funny. All right. No. So that's a regular no. apple? It's a regular apple. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Asnato, you heal 20 hit points, I believe. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's like I think that's it, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now it's Ian's turn. What is Ian doing? Is Ian at all going to be expending those, um... Double teams for more damage? Uh, let's see. Actually, wait, I'm gonna do it on this end. Uh... Okay, there we go. Oh boy. Okay, I can do that. Alright, but he's gonna have to really get in there for that. Uh, Alright, so... Ian, with his whole uh, double team task force, is gonna move in real close. Uh, hold on. Let me just move this token back a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna move like right here. Actually, wait. Ah! So many tokens. There we go. Alright. And uh, he was right there. And. This is chaotic. Miss. Oh my god. Alright, well, um... Uh, double team charge. <laughs> Time to make that hit. Alright. So, what is that gonna be now? That is, if I believe... Let me double check. Is it going to increase it by two? Um, I think... Let me... Does it? I believe it said it, if you were going for attack, it increases the accuracy by two for each charge. Hmm. And you could also expend it to give you yourself a bonus to your evasion on a hit against you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the user may either actively double team mm -hmm. when being targeted by an attack to increase their evasion by two against that attack, or when making an attack to increase their accuracy by two. Which means... It'll be a two to hit. Which is not going to matter. So, yeah, never mind. You guys just dodged. You're, you're able to... Um, uh, Ian tries to... Um, 
uh, tries to like distract you guys, but you guys aren't affected in the slightest, even though there are four of them. Chef, you're up. All right. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> Let's keep shooting at Alan. And, uh, meets it, beats it. Yeah, yeah, meets it, beats it, yeah. Another one damage. Yes. <laughs> don't worry, just... I'm uh, helping, guys. So many more. I really am. All right. So, all right, so Alan's going to go one, two, three, four. Actually, also on my turn, I would have liked to move as well. All right, where do you move? Uh... One, two, and in case three. you're wondering, you don't provoke any attacks of opportunity. No one's really targeting you in melee range. The only one who's really in melee yeah. range is Asnato. <laughs> that should work. All I'll right. just stay there. Okay. Alright. Let's see. I've already used up my protection stuff, so mm -hmm. there's no point in staying close to you guys. All right, in that case, um... Actually, Alan is going to go up here. One, two, three. Oh, hello, Alan. Hello, Mario. <laughs> and then he is going to use, um... Yeah, yeah, uh, he can do this. Uh, he's going to use a rock slide with uh, just enough uh, range that it will hit Misha Nasunato, but not his... Uh, uh, not his uh, comrades, so you both are going to take 43 physical damage. Curses, no flinch. No flinch? Interesting. How did it not hit the others? Because it's a ranged blast. He uh, made it so that it He picks a point and then it ex Yeah. So basically, th this it is. It looks like it could get the Aerodactyl at least. Yeah, if he just aims at the very center, but he didn't. Because he's not an idiot. Like, okay, this is the fine. area. Right here, basically. So if one were to do... This... This was the point that he, um... Hold on. This was the point that he picked? Pretty much. That does get well, his allies. No, the, it's a rain... Well, yeah. You know. Like, hardly. Layla? We've talked about this. Oh. Let's just continue on. Ah, uh, yeah, like one small, like, part of his wing. Also his mouth. <sighs> He's tall. Oh my god, Jacob, really? Are we gonna do this again? It's it's not just the wing, it's the uh, mouth, the nose, and the entire Arkan double team copy. Like, the entire copy. One entire... Minus, like, the back of its head. Also, le let me just reiterate that the thing that I'm doing for double team technically isn't how it works, I'm just using it for flavor. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, either way, that is, like, I'd say at least a fifth of the Aerodactyl's body in total. It's just how the sprite looks. Okay, well, my, um, the other sprites have, this is the consequence of having a large sprite. Like, I don't know, skill issue. No, also, you can having off. targeting stuff be based on our sprites. Yeah, and that's a tiny bit of it, come on. I wouldn't count that as tiny, that's an entire wing. An entire and wing? And half really? the face. An entire wing and half the face. Besides, he's like, like, think, okay, yeah, okay, this is, this is kind of what happens when you are taking a 3D environment when it's being projected through a 2D space. Aerodactyl uh, is well, very it's also tall. A rock slide, it follow, it falls from the air, so in 3D space, it still hits. 
Because that's how, like, all the other, yeah, how how we're able to hit other Pokemon is based on their sprite. So, no, like, theoretically, but... how they're able to hit other Pokemon is based on sprites. But also, the thing is, is that there is actually an, a, a thing for aiming upwards. And they would specify that would uh, affect upward uh, people that are, like, several... What does that have to do with anything? Yeah, what does that have to do with anything? It's Rock Slide. Like, there... Trust it's me. also, um, do I have to, like, how, do we have to specifically specify to aim upwards at any flying type now? The flying types... It's a bit, well... Flying types probably, well, n well, I mean, depends on if they take up in the air. we haven't at all in none of the enemies either. Yeah, it it, it depends, like, ge like, genuinely speaking, like, it, it, it depends, because, like, most of the time, flying types will just be flying, like, just above the air. So that doesn't affect it for the most part, uh, especially like for direct hits. Uh, for outside hit, uh, for like that means like ground type moves or most ground type moves still wouldn't affect them. However, Pokemon that aren't flying type but still have the capability to fly or float up in the air, then that would have to be specifically stated. No, let me let me see. Well, then would you have to specify? Well, then I'm floating. You'd have to specify upwards because I am also in the air. How about you do that instead, Layla? Sure. In yeah. which case, if it were if it were in the air, that would have to hit the Aerodactyl. Or if it's not in the air, it only hits Misha. Layla, pick that spot so that yeah, you don't actually hit. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. There you go. Jacob tries not to make our fights harder. Challenge. <laughs> um. No, also, I'm we'll... trying to help the DM here. No, the DM is our enemy. In battle, at least. <laughs> That's one way to look at campaigns. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the Layla is a, I mean, the DM is a dear friend who is trying v to create a story. The that Layla. Makes us challenge. <laughs> the Layla. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but either I'm way, it's not aiming. more if optimal does, spot. That is the literally the least optimal spot. Um, either no, way, the, the spot that I picked would have been better because it only hits you and Misha. Yeah, that's the least optimal spot for us, the best optimal yeah, for, for the us, opponents. Yes. For the opponents, yes. Who we, they are our opponents by definition. Okay. You should not help the This is what okay. happens when I try to Sun use cool big spray. Sun Tzu, do not interrupt the enemy when they are making a mistake. Law, like, ja uh, Jack, I think you're taking this a little too seriously. Tzu, this quote. is a trial Either battle. Way, <laughs> my uh, one question is, What's if up? I'm also a floating Pokemon, does it have to aim upward to hit me? Well, I mean, normally you're just like... With with levitation, uh, it like you're normally just like levitating right above the ground. However, since you do have uh, the levitate ability and the levitate speed, you could float up several meters in the air. You just have to specify that whenever you're doing your movement. So like gotcha. you you literally, if you wanted cool. to right now, you could just levitate. Like I don't know, it's like half your levitate uh, speed. Yeah, like, but that would take up a, a turn, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so you could literally just go up oh. three meters, and you... That yeah, would I already that applied would the damage either way, so yeah. uh, I figured mm -hmm. this is a foregone conclusion. Uh, Misha, you're a water type right now, so I think you resist rock? No. Yeah. No? Rock type? The water doesn't resist rock. Wait. And, and yeah, it never has, ever. Pulling up the type effectiveness no, chart. Just because you are super effective against a type does not mean you resist that type. That is oh. only true for some. I like resist fire, water. I... Mm -hmm. okay. For example, dragon types. They're super effective against dragon types. They're also um, resist. weak to dragon types. Yeah. Well, luckily, you didn't. You you guys didn't get flinched. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty fair. Mm -hmm. All right, now it's Hammond's turn. Oh. All right, let me remove. Yeah, so you cannot use roost anymore. Cause that is a that that's not a scene move. That's a daily move. Oh. Mhm. Mm and he's gonna go for another bite on you, uh, Asunado. Oh, uh... What? Alrighty, let's see something real quick. Like also not a huge constantly getting. Okay, try that one more time. You're yeah, I can't hear you. <laughs> but also, this is what happens when the electric type almost obliterates the flying type. He is not going to be happy with that. 
It's Austin Otto getting grabbed and getting bitten. Uh, oh, yeah, that's pointing right. pointing out the pattern of yeah. Austin Otto getting attacked all the time. Yes. Getting grabbed and mitten. <laughs> but he's still kicking! And Hammond delivers another intense blow, but Austin Otto's not letting him... Uh, is not uh, giving up yet. That's your cue. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. no flitch. No I can't flinch do anything, though. Time. You can attack. Yeah. And die. Yeah. I don't want to die. Oh, true. <laughs> well, you well die go out with a bang. I would die to my own attack, and I am not even special attack boosted. Wait, wait, wait. Do you have and I'm to not... get to 100 percent negative 100 percent to die yeah no i'm talking about fainting i mean mm. yeah i would faint just by attacking yeah that's not very fun in my opinion <laughs> um i'm going to at least uh say i'm using funny free action oh wait i never applied my 10 pit points uh let me add nine to my Ooh, hp real okay quick. yeah um and then I'm... I'm gonna eat my orange berry uh as my funny free action oh yeah that's right yeah. that's 10 hit points right uh, yeah. yes. Ten, yeah. Okay, cool. So and then, 20. since this is neutral, I'm going to hit the Aerodactyl with this. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Ooh, so that'll be... Oh! Oh, and we're also going to say I um, move a, a wee bit away. You are in melee range, so that will do provoke an attack. Oh, no. Uh, okay, never mind. Then I will not. Um, you also get seven... Uh, um, Hit points back from the Giga Drain. Cool. Oh my God! All the hit points are uh, all the all the HP bars are layered on top of each other now. Let's see how much. Is... Yeah. Okay. This oh, is but... a lot. All, all right. right. Z move time. Misha, yep. you're up. Z, Misha, please. Yeah, I'll am using it, and I'll use please. Just uh, Asnato, be sure to duck. <laughs> mm-hmm. Please hit. Thank God. Oh, I, don't worry about I accuracy when it comes to that. <laughs> it comes to Z moves. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to make it so that it misses. Do you also make it uh, quad effective with Rain Dance? Yes. Yeah. Do that. All right. <laughs> All right. So, Misha, you, uh, once again, just like uh, yesterday, you uh, lurch back and you are able to form this massive bubble and like the rain that has been uh, shooting down starts to coalesce in this in this large bubble getting bigger and shinier and it starts glowing and then you shoot it off it, it, right into Hammond it bursts in his face and the, the bubble creates this massive vortex centered around him and let's see how much damage that does that just well, that did 68 damage, damage. Uh, wait, whoops. Uh, that is not how that's supposed to be. You were at that. I went meant to do minus 68. And that is one KO'd Mega Aerodactyl as he proceeds to get sent flying off out of bounds. And then he just collapses right next to a, um, right next to a Rotom. And then... Uh, wait, hold up. Let me move. There we go. And then, D powers. Uh, whoop, what, that, that, roll 20, please. There we go. As he is KO'd. And what an insane Hydro Vortex from Misha! This team is making, is not pulling any of the stops after that narrow victory yesterday. They're out for. Victory! Absolute victory! And now is Ian's turn. He's not gonna like that. And he's going to uh oops, crap. He's going to move towards uh Misha and go for acrobatics. Uh four hits, right, well, Misha? Did. And you uh, take yeah, all right. You take fifty-six damage. That's physical. Yes, physical damage. Forty. Oh, fifty-six. Mhm. Me win acrobatics with no held item. <laughs> yeah. Um. Plus defeatist. 
defeat. Ooh, I learned oh. that defeatist is funky in this uh, system. Did they make it actually not awful? Sorta. You know what? I'll I'll humor you guys. This is the effect. You deal more damage at uh, over uh, uh, fifty percent hit points, but um, that damage bonus goes away. You get minus five to. I think it's. I think it's just a yeah. The damage rolls. However, your speed goes up. Oh. So, uh, Misha, you okay. got that? Alright, Chef, you're up. Alright. Let's just keep doing what I've been doing. War of Attrition. Alright. Uh, you think th these guys have more hit points than I do? They probably do. No point in going for the pains. Oh, who wants hit points? I, I think I think I think hit points would be so cool. <laughs> but actually, Misha needs them more. So let me double check. Does Misha have? Wait, 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 not Misha. Um, actually, wait, Misha, did you apply your temp hit points when you were taking damage? I. I got to Wait, I think I. Like, I think the first time you took damage was from the rock slide. So... Yeah. Um, if so, then did you remove hit point, your temp hit points during that time? I think so, yeah. Do you ever subtract nine hit points from a damage you took at any point, and did you mark it off your character sheet? Well, your temp hit points, your, your tick of temp hit points uh, would actually be seven. No, you still have them. Ah, okay, you're there, right. It's on your character sheet. Okay. So, yeah. So give uh, yourself seven hit points. Yeah, you can just okay. uh, swap it out and put it in your current hit points, so you should be at 15. Okay. Yeah, like, for point of reference, okay. whenever you have temporary hit points and you take damage, subtract from that first. So, Misha, is at, like, 15 right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, um... You want you want thirty? Cause I can give you thirty more. <laughs> or more specifically, you're gonna lose half of it, but then get thirty more. Okay. Yeah, I guess. It, yeah, sure. Okay, I'm going to use pain split on Misha. So that means by ninety one is going to get reduced to 45, so I'm putting 46 hit points into this pool. Alright. Misha, I would suggest that you put in the even number. So, so you're at 15. Put in put in 8. Plus 8? Yeah, subtract eight from your hit points. Oh. Okay, we each get 27. Okay. That All should right. be helpful. Y'all got that down? Yeah. Yep. All right. Yep, and then I am going to, with my movement this turn... Just go... One, two, three, four, five. Alright, um... Alan's gonna notice you... Oh, right, I was supposed to... I was supposed to roll for this for some reason. I mean, you don't have to if it's Wait, a willing that's... participant. Okay. Alan's going to see uh, you trying to, like, sneak up behind him or something like that. And he's going to use Dragon Tail against you. Oh! Almost a crit! That actually Dang. works. Out. Wow. Alright. That, that was not a crit, luckily. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. almost a crit. That was a 19. So, 
So, um, Alan then just proceeds to smack you in the face, and you get pushed, uh, three meters. That actually helps One, two, three. me. Thank you. That's pretty good. Bro's in the mindset of, get the tank away from the rest of the party. I can't really tank anymore, so there's yeah. no point in me being here. I, just, I used up all of my healing moves. I mean, you could always go and, uh, use intercept melee or intercept range. To try to take a hit from one of your opponent, from uh, for one of your friends. I forgot that was a reaction. It is. It's also well. It's also a full action, so just keep that in mind. Like if you were to do that before your turn, which I mean, you could do that at any point as long as Alan's not moving. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, it, it you'll it'll essentially mean that your turn gets skipped. Mm -hmm.